first reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Corinthians, chapter 6, verses 1 to 11. When any of you has a grievance against another, do you dare to take it to court before the unrighteous, instead of taking it before the saints? Do you not know that the saints will judge the world? And if the world is to be judged by you, are you incompetent to try trivial cases? Do you not know that we are to judge angels, to say nothing of ordinary matters? If you have ordinary cases, then do you appoint as judges those who have no standing in the church? I say this to your shame. Can it be that there is no one among you wise enough to decide between one believer and another. But a believer goes to court against a believer and before unbelievers at that. In fact, to have lawsuits at all with one another is already a defeat for you. Why not rather be wronged? Why not rather be defrauded? But you yourselves wrong and defraud, and believers at that. Do you not know that wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Fornicators, idolaters, adulterers, male prostitutes, sodomites, thieves, the greedy, drunkards, revilers, robbers, None of these will inherit the kingdom of God. And this is what some of you used to be. But you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the spirit of our God. The word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Now during those days he went out to the mountain to pray. And he spent the night in prayer to God. And when day came, he called his disciples and chose twelve of them, whom he also named apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, and James, and John, and Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, and James, son of Alphaeus, and Simon, who was called the Zealot, and Judas, son of James, and Judas Cariot, who became a traitor. He came down with them and stood on a level place with a great crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea, Jerusalem, and the coast of Tyre and Sidon. They had come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases, and those who were troubled with unclean spirits were, were cured. And all in the crowd were trying to touch him, for power came out from him and healed all of them. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, in today's Gospel, we listen to the selection of the disciples. Jesus calls his twelve disciples, apostles, and also afterwards he comes down and performs miracles. But before all this, he spends time alone with himself, praying to God. In Jesus' lives, we often come across this situation before taking an important decision or before an important event, he retrieves, retreats himself into a silent place or to the mountain and he spends time talking to his father or in other words praying and then comes and does the miracle or that important work which is assigned to him by his father and thereby fulfills the will of the father. Dear friends, in our lives also we take different decisions in our lives and important decisions. But how often do we pray before we take those decisions? 
or how often do we submit everything to God's hands and ask his intercession, ask his inspiration to take those decisions correctly. Jesus performs that thing. Even though he was the son of God, before selecting his disciples, apostles, he prays and he selects his disciples and then he keeps them with himself and then comes down and performs miracles so that people witness that it is Christ. In our lives, how often do we do that? We try to do everything by our own human abilities, with our own human strength. We don't give God the first place. We try to do everything by ourselves. When we do that, when we think that we can do that by ourselves, we often come across difficulties and we do not know how to cope up with those difficulties, with those hurdles. But whenever we submit everything to God and when we do something, even though we come across difficulties and barriers and hurdles, we know that God is there with us who could help us to overcome these hurdles. Dear friends, it is very important for us to do everything, first of all, submitting everything to God, asking God's intercession, in His God's grace, His blessings, and then do it. Jesus shows that to His disciples. Even before selecting, He prayed, and then He came and He selected His disciples. So therefore, dear friends, in our lives, prayer should take an important aspect. It must be an important aspect. It can't be neglected. We must submit everything to God in prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as your Son did everything according to your holy will by praying and asking your blessings. Help us also to submit everything in our lives to your hands so that we may know that you guide us through your spirit and you are there with us always. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.